The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Blessed be the Lord. I will bless the Lord at all times. With praise ever in my mouth. Let my soul Son and of the Holy Spirit, Amen. the peace and grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you always. Amen. We pause now to ask God's mercy. Lord Jesus, you raise us to new life. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, you forgive our sins. Christ, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord Jesus, you feed us with your body and blood. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Let us pray. O God, who for the relief of the poor and the formation of the clergy, endowed the priest St. Vincent de Paul with apostolic virtues. Grant, we pray, that a fire with your same, that same spirit, we may love what he loved and put into practice what he taught through our Lord Jesus Christ, your son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. God forever and ever. Amen. Amen. A reading from the book of Ezra. At the time of the evening sacrifice, I, Ezra, rose in my wretchedness, and with cloak and mantle torn, I fell on my knees, stretching out my hands to the Lord, my God. I said, My God, I am too ashamed and confounded to raise my face to you. Oh, my God. For our wicked deeds are heaped up above our heads, and our guilt reaches up to heaven. From the time of our fathers, even to this day, great has been our guilt, and for our wicked deeds we have been delivered up, we and our kings and our priests, to the will of the kings of foreign lands, to the sword, to captivity, to pillage, and to disgrace, as is the case today. And now, but a short time ago, Mercy came to us from the Lord our God, who left us a remnant and gave us a stake in this holy place. Thus our God has brightened our eyes and given us relief in our servitude. For slaves we are, but in our servitude our God has not abandoned us. Rather, he has turned the goodwill of the kings of Persia toward us. Thus he has given us new life to raise again the house of our God and restore its ruins. <coughs> and has granted us defense in Judah and Jerusalem. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Responsorial, blessed be God who lives forever. Blessed, blessed be God who lives forever. He scourges and then has mercy. He casts down to the depths of another world, and he brings up from the great abyss. No one can escape his hand. Blessed, blessed be God, God who lives forever. forever. Praise him, you children of Israel, before the Gentiles. For though he has scattered you among them, he has shown you his grace even there. Blessed, Blessed be God, God who lives forever. forever. So now consider what he has done for you, and praise him with full voice. Bless the Lord of righteousness, and exalt the King of ages. Blessed, Blessed be God, God who lives forever. In the land of my exile, I praise him, and show his power and majesty to a sinful nation. Blessed, Blessed be God, God who lives forever. Bless the Lord, all you his chosen ones, and may all of you praise his majesty. Celebrate days with gladness and give him praise. 
Alleluia, 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 Alleluia. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Jesus summoned the twelve and gave them power and authority over all demons and to cure diseases. And he sent them to proclaim the kingdom of God and to heal the sick. He said to them, take nothing for the journey neither walking stick, nor sack, nor food, nor money, and let no one take a second tunic. Whatever house you enter, stay there and leave from there. And as for those who do not welcome you, when you leave that town, shake the dust from your feet in testimony against them. Then they set out and went from village to village, proclaiming the good news and curing diseases everywhere. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. In today's Gospel, we see how Jesus has passed, is passing on, beginning to pass on his authority, his power, the power that belongs to his name, to his closest of disciples, the twelve. And after this, he will pass it on to a larger group sent out two by two. And then it shall be after his death and resurrection, the power of his spirit will be given to all the faithful so that they too may act in his name, so that we too, may be filled with his spirit and sent to proclaim the good news, not only in our words, but in our actions. And so today we celebrate uh, St. Vincent de Paul. All of us know his name because of the St. Vincent de Paul societies that are in many of our parishes, because this is what he founded. Besides the religious order, now called the Vincentians after his name, and the Sisters of Charity, who, are, who took care of the sick and the dying. So he founded the Societies of St. Vincent de Paul, who worked to take care of all the poor and the destitute, and take care of those who were in great need. So today, his work continues. The Society of St. Vincent de Paul still thrives in many nations, in our country, around the world, caring for the poorest of the poor, caring for those who are in destitution or who find themselves in situations which bring them to great need. Today, we ask the Lord to continue to fill the church with the power of his spirit the testimony of Christ, that we too may be his witnesses to the ends of the earth. Let us stand to pray. <clears throat> Trusting in God's power to heal, let us bring our needs before him with confidence. For church leaders, May the Holy Spirit fortify them in their gospel mission. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For world leaders, may God form their hearts in good will towards those who are most in need. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. For those traveling the long road of grief, may they know Christ's presence and rest in the confidence that Nothing can separate us from the love of God. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord hear our prayer. 
for all of us gathered here, may we be strengthened by the sacraments to share Christ with others. Let us pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For the souls of the faithful departed, may they through God's mercy rest in eternal glory, especially for James Deary Jr. being remembered at this Mass. We pray to the Lord. Lord, Lord hear our prayer. For what else shall we pray? God of mercy and power, hear our prayers and answer them according to our need. We ask this through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, the work of human hands. It will become for us the bread of life. Bless us, God. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation. For through your goodness we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, the work of human hands. It will become for us our spiritual drink. Bless be God. God. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours will be acceptable to God the Father Almighty. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at our hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, who enabled St. Vincent to imitate what he celebrated in the divine mysteries, grant that by the power of this sacrifice, we too may be transformed into an oblation acceptable to you through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, always and everywhere, to give you thanks. Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, through your beloved Son, Jesus the Christ. For as on the festival of St. Vincent de Paul, you bid your church rejoice, so too you strengthen her by the example of his holy life, teach her by the words of his preaching, and keep her safe in answer to his prayers. And so with a company of angels and saints, we sing the hymn of your praise as without end we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving you thanks he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you.
In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving you thanks, he gave it to his disciples saying, take this all of you and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. Save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly, we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, William, our Bishop, and all the men and women who serve the church. Remember also our sisters and brothers who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy, especially James, being remembered at this Mass. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with St. Joseph, her most chaste spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and with all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. For through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen. In confidence, we pray now in the words our Savior taught. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread and forgive us our trespasses as we forgive those who trespass against us and lead us not into temptation but deliver us from evil deliver us lord we pray from every evil graciously grant peace in our days that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress as we await the blessed hope the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, you said to your apostles, peace I leave with you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant us peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb, Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those who are called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
blood of Christ. The body and blood of Christ. The body and blood of Christ. Mm -hmm. The body and blood of Christ. Let us pray. Renewed by this heavenly sacrament, O Lord, we implore that just as we are prompted by St. Vincent's example to imitate your son in preaching of the gospel to the poor, so too we may be sustained by his prayers through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. Amen. May Almighty God bless us, Father, Son, and Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Our Mass is ended. Let us go in peace. Thank Thanks be to God. Sing the second verse of our hymn, number 626. The Lord hears the cry of the poor. Blessed be the Lord, let the lowly hear and be glad, the Lord listens to their pleas, and to hearts broken God is near, who will hear the cry of the poor.